And now, ladies and gentlemen, we come to our featured bout of this evening, brought to you by Go Yin. Thousands of years of traditional Asian medicine, summed up in one word, balance. This contest is scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, coming to us by way of Scottsdale, Arizona. He brings in with him a professional record of 15 wins, 60 feats. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring you the Pinoy Assassin, Hans Marrero. And his opponent, fighting across the ring under the red corner, coming to us by way of Manoa. And he brings in a professional MMA record of 12 wins, seven defeats. He is the former middleweight champion of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring you Egan Well, as we take a look at the tail of the tape, the big difference, the age, 19 years separating these two. Exactly. We'll see if the age comes into play. The later in the rounds, usually the younger fighter has more conditioning and come back, but he gets phenomenal as far as his conditioning. We have some special rules for this fight. Yep. This one, there's no elbows on the ground. They can do it standing up. They can do the knees like any other fight. But this rule, fight. no elbows on the ground. So that should kind of eliminate a lot of cuts that, that kind of stop fights early as well. The days leading up to this fight, Marrero showing a lot of respect. Paid homage to Egan Inoy, his teenage idol. A big body slam by Inoy. He's trying to clear that leg. He could get cross side position, keeping that chin nice and tucked tight. Most doing a good job of trying to sneak in that knee, and that knee will create some space here. Up, up, up. Throwing down some punches as Morero is trying to fend off the attack. Morero trying to go for an arm bar like he has done 15 times before. Morero tries to go after that knee. He does a good job of hipping out and circling. Boom! Morero taking a big hit. And another he might one. Be Fifty-nine seconds into the round, Morello is done, and Egan is back. He hit him with some good shots here, great defensive positioning. An early attempt at a knee bar, not even close. Egan hipped in, circled, and punished him for it, and ended the fight with some blows. Boy, that doesn't look like the power of a 42-year-old, but then a 42-year-old body doesn't look like that. Egan Inoy. And Morero still wondering where he is. 59 seconds. And Morero still dazed. Don't know what hit him. Let's take a look. There's a high click. And Inoy quickly takes him down. Works him from the ground. Morero did try to go for an arm, but Egan said would have none of that. And then the punches just started to come, and then Marrero, all he could do was cover up. So at 42 years old, Egan Anoy wanted to test himself, see where he was at on the comeback trail, had a lot of new training regiments, a Russian regiment, where he has shorter workouts and a shorter recovery time. He didn't get a lot of work in. 59 seconds, that's all it took. And now let's go up top to James Brennan. He has the official announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, the official time of 59 seconds of round number one, your winner by TKO victory, Egan Enoy! Enoy, your winner. He runs his record now to 13 and 7 and kind of erases all the bugaboos and the bad memories of being in this house and in this ring. And the four and a half year hiatus is over, and Egan Anoy is back in MMA. Let's hear from him, and let's hear from my partner, Mike Lazuka. First of all, he took a long break from fighting, 
you're a, you're a, basically a master of, or a, kind of a mad scientist as far as training methods. You try different techniques out. You didn't have a long time to kind of study or, or actually execute your game plan. How did you feel as far as conditioning wise with that long break? I think I'm good. I didn't really get the chance. To, I didn't get to try it out. It happened too quick. Um, you know, it just is fun. I, I can't really tell if all my training, you know, worked. So when you came in, um, you kind of dominated position. You're the ground specialist. He came in saying that he had a lot of submissions, kind of plays to your strength. Was your um, goal or your plan coming in to kind of test your stand-up a little bit, or did you want to take the fight to the ground and kind of just test them on the ground a little bit? I actually wanted to do the stand-up game at first, but I didn't want it back to the ground since he was this, he was claimed to be the um, submission guy. I'm the submission guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good to call yourself submission guy when you're training as the guy's a two-time world champion on the ground. Yeah, well, you know, I got to protect the BJJ, you know. So, how do you feel after coming to this fight? Um, obviously, you're unscathed. We have one other X1 that's coming up on July 12th. Are we going to see another return of Egan and in that event? I don't know. I gotta, I'm going to take some time. I'm going to think about it again. I didn't really get to trust, uh, you know, challenge myself today, but you know, I thought that was a good one. We'll see. I mean, I don't know. It depends on X1, huh? How bad do they want me? <laughs> we know we want you bad, so we'll see what X1 can come bring to the table. Once again, congratulations on your comeback. And uh, I guess do you have any sponsors you'd like to thank? Yeah, I'd like to thank all my sponsors over here. We got One Shot, you know, Grappling Limited, the studio, Barefoot League. I got uh, OTM over here, Goyen, uh, Berwin Ito, Dr. Berwin Ito, O'Neill, Fighting, of course, and then uh, Skull Candy. I'm, I also like to thank all the guys who took the time to train me. I got my old guy crew back, you know, Rob, P Lightning, some of you guys know him as. We got Sheldon back, Kumu's back, Wakanda's back. I got my whole team back again. I, we got a really good team. I also like to thank all the guys at the studio and Grappling Limited that support me every single day. Congratulations again, your winner, and he's back, Egan Inouye.